Hey guys, so I am about to start working on the probe again. I'm going to replace the timing belt. And since I'm replacing oops, sorry, the timing belt, I'm also going to do the water pump and the oil pump because the water pump is driven by the timing belt so all that stuff's right in there so i'm just gonna replace that too um i really wanted to do i wanted to do this last year too but it didn't work out so now i'm going to do it well right now start to anyways <clears throat> i definitely want to do this before uh we go to the ford nationals in the spring I thought it'd be a really good idea, and I'm gonna try and do it right now rather than in springtime because there's still a lot of stuff I need to do. I would like to, well, I, I really need to. It needs it super bad. It needs struts. And this car has struts all the way around, front and back. Like, for real. It's kind of ridiculous, but oh well, that's what it's got. So, and. <clears throat> uh, and I cannot just like find quick struts for these. I would have to, you know, get the strut, I'd have to get the spring, I'd have to get the mounts, and then put it all together. And by the time, you know, that's going to involve time doing that, and the price would be the same if I just got some uh, coil springs. For it, not just coil springs. What the hell is it called? If I just got coil overs for it, and there's I found some that's pretty much the same price, right around, very close. And all I'd have to do is put them in, and they would have <coughs> uh, caster camber adjustments, which is pretty neat. Um, so. But yeah, it needs them really bad. These struts are just wiped out. Super bad. Bouncy. Like, bad. <laughs> Can't say bad enough. So here I am in my damp and dark garage. Um, I am trying to <clears throat> get, get the car situated. I'm also changing the exhaust because... This one has like the original flex pipe on it and um, catalytic converter, so they're pretty, they're not that great looking. They look pretty not awesome, like they're gonna start leaking if, I, they might be anyways. So I'm just gonna change it and change the rest of the exhaust because that has been replaced, but it's like different size pipe and stuff, so I'm gonna do something different mm -hmm. so just hang on I'm gonna do some time lapsing so I'm going to remove the right front wheel uh, I'm definitely gonna to need to do that for when I do the timing route and stuff uh, so I can hopefully gain better access to you know the side that side of the engine So now that I fiddled and fart around with that, I, uh, I added another jack because, well, the, um, let me put it this way. I really like, everybody really likes having, um, lifts, right? Well, unfortunately they cost money and I can't afford it right now. So, obviously, I work on the ground all the time or in the dirt. And honestly, when you're, you know, it's tight places. And I get a teeny bit claustrophobic at times if I'm, if I'm at my mind to think about it. And then I get really paranoid. 
<laughs> like I can just envision myself being crushed to death. Like if that Jack failed or that Jack failed. So I usually always put like, you know, I kind of almost go overkill at times depending on how bad I get this feeling. So and then Jack, another one because of that. <clears throat> and then I added this awesome light that my husband got. Uh, uh, he got it. It's Milwaukee and it is super cool. It's uh, magnetic and it's not tiny. So I will forget that it's under there because that's what I do with lights that are magnetic. Stick them on vehicles and they will be gone. Like I cannot remember them. So this is like pretty obvious that I can't lose it. Yeah, let me show you. So, better view of this light. Let me turn it because it's super fucking blinding right now. Maybe not. I'll just rip it off instead. Okay, so here it is. This got a cool handle. So that's the light itself. That's the button. Turn it on. It has different modes. So it's like kind of dim, or you can make it brighter. It's pretty cool and um it's magnetic right here so that's super handy and then the batteries goes right in here and then here is also magnetic so you can like stick some tools on there if you want and that swivels and goes And then this also moves as well. And put it all the right back right up to the battery. Super bright. Nice. I really like it. So, uh, yeah, there's that random piece of information because this dope light. Okay, so the car. I'm going to start removing the exhaust. Um, it is... Mm, yeah. yeah, it covers some of the oil pan, which I'm go going to be taking off. So, and I'm just going to be replacing it anyway, so exhaust is coming out first. Okay, so I think the probe has a pretty, pretty weird looking exhaust manifold. Like, not the exhaust manifold, but really the, well, the shape of it. <laughs> this end. There's one, two, three bolts. Pretty funky looking. And it's got like two pipes coming out and then it goes in the one. Then it turns into this lovely flex pipe and then into the converter. So I gotta take those three bolts off. There's a bracket here. I'm gonna have to take those two bolts out. Down exhaust hangers. <gasps> so I forgot to hit the record button. Taking those bolts out for the exhaust manifold. But they come out. Mm, they come out okay, I think. They look fine. Uh, well, pretty good. But actually, it's the nut and stud come out. All three. And they were a size 14. And then I'm going to take the bracket out. And that's also a size 14. Well, the bolt's out for the bracket. That's holding it to the engine.
So I got the exhaust in, but then I realized that I need to cut it. So now with it loose, it's going to be a little bit harder to cut with the sawzall, but I'm going to do it anyways. And um, I'm doing that because it's just going to be easier cutting it because the, uh, the pipe goes over the axle. I don't know what to call it, but the cradle. Uh, subframe not subframe uh you know what i'm talking about it goes over it and then it has the muffler so the muffler can't go over it and the pipe is like literally super long so it's just gonna be harder doing it that way and so i'm just gonna cut it so here we go worked out better than that. So this is some of the exhaust. This is not too bad, but then you can tell that is obviously not a factory. <laughs> Wait till you see the rest of it. So start to finish, here is the exhaust from the car. Flex pipe converter. Look at that. <laughs> what? Oh my god. It's all out now. So, I actually cut the exhaust twice. I didn't need to cut much off it the second time just enough so I could get it out because of the angle and how low the probe is to the ground or whatever. Um, it just wasn't coming out the first try. <laughs> so I had to cut it again and I forgot to record that too. So I'm sorry. But so exhaust is out. Um, I guess the next step would be to drain the oil because I'm going to have to take the oil pan off. So, but I am going to have tacos pretty soon. Archie's making tacos tonight. And I'm pretty hungry. So, and I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna do steps probably cause I, I don't know how long this is gonna take me. Um, I have not been working on this straight all day. Um, and I'm not gonna be able to work on this all day tomorrow, unfortunately, as much as I'd like to. So I'll do them in segments, chapters, the videos. Um, it'll be easier for me that way rather than wait and make it one giant long video. It's actually a pain in the butt to edit a really long video. Or long video to me, anyways. So, And I try and keep them short, but all the taping I do I do a lot of editing and cutting stuff out so it takes time <laughs> anyways let's see what we got now uh, so there's obviously the oil pan drain plug is a nine is a size 19 so yeah 
I'm just gonna have to pull that out and I probably won't start attacking that tonight because tacos are gonna be ready soon. But I will start draining the oil. Okay guys, tacos are done and I gotta close this up and go inside. <laughs> um, hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to work on this more. Alright guys, thank you. Uh, see you next time.